world of YouTube tip for sight here. And um, we're looking at a photo framed picture that I took of at an antique store in uh, Lynn. No, was it? No, not Lynn. Uh, Lawrence. There's a antique store out there. Nice, huge, big building. And a um, lot of old stuff. And of course, there's a lot of old haunting looking dolls out there. I forgot to keep a picture of one. But there was a doll's head literally made onto some friggin' creepy... I, I should have said, I think I still have a picture of it, but it's in my Google Photos. But also when I'm looking throughout this place is pictures like these. Because, of course, if anybody knows that pictures back in the day cannot be photoshopped, cannot be tampered with. And I did catch a glare of a window in this, but I guarantee the rest in this photo is not a glare. I made highly sure that I what glare I did see was cut out of the frame, and I'll show you in a minute where it is. But um, it's like, wow. I can't believe out of all the pictures and as haunting as this picture looks, I mean... This person does look kind of creepy. Of course, back in them days, you don't and wouldn't know type of people to be any, um, you know, any type of person that <laughs> have a dark side. And back in them days, there was a lot of people that had a lot of closets locked that you could not get into. That had a lot of dark secrets, of course, between me and my wife's families. Oh, is there a lot of dark secrets? Stuff that just happened to come out at the end of some things that were told. Some things when we were told when we were younger, whatever. But it's insane, you know, what people used to hide back in the day. Um, pictures, though, I believe are being sold now because, of course, one, there's probably no rightfully known heir to take on, you know, having these pictures. And, I, and I'm highly definite that these auctions of people's houses that passed away but no more family members, you know, these pictures are allowed to be taken and sold. I mean, not only that, I've heard a lot of movie, um, say so, Hollywood moviers, producers or directors or whatever, people that go search through these antique, you know, um, stores are able to, you know, take these pictures and use them as props in movies. You know, not. I mean, I would have loved to bought this one because this picture does have a lot of sinister stuff that looks like it's in it. And not only that. I mean, how much was this sucker? Uh, I, mean, I didn't have the money for it that day, but I just wanted to check out. That's the number of the person who owns it. I can't say if that's the price or that's the number. But, um, yeah, you know, a lot of this stuff that gets left behind the past in great condition is obviously able to be bought. Here's the um, glare I was speaking of. It's the only glare in that uh, building that I caught on this picture. But, um, yeah, you know, people, you know, they just can't help to buy old stuff, especially for props. But I look for stuff for studying for ghosts. And this picture, oh, yes, yes, indeed. I mean, I didn't stop to look at it at the place. I waited till I got home. And so and behold, you know, and even as dark as looking as this person's face, man, he just, I mean, he could be just an average person, you know. 
just not, I mean, back in them days, the Great Depression era, or yet alone trying to live back in them days. You know, a lot of people just, if they had a smile on their face, you know, then they were just making the best of life. Some other people just, you know, just too darn dark and serious looking that you can't tell even if they were happy or even if they just make it look like they're happy, you know. Whatever the case may be, back in them days were very bright, dark. <clears throat> and um, no other words can explain, you know. Like I said, you had your secrets in your closet locked away. Whatever the hell, I mean, I can't judge people, but a picture says a thousand words. And to me, I mean, this kid right here, I mean, he looks like he's got probably the best clothing at the time, so I mean, I'm not judging people, but I just get weird vibes from pictures, and people can do that, especially me. I'm not fully there yet, but I think the only thing I would need to do to, you know, highly, really connect with the past and the dead would be, be taking that damn peyote that the Native Americans do. And I'm just getting close enough to step forward to a Native American tribe throughout Massachusetts to see if I can get that done. So, because if you do stuff like that, and you sit in there like, say so, wigwam, teepee, and you take into the blue light and afterlife and do that kind of stuff, it brings you more virtual into that world beyond the grave and right even though I do have some stuff that I can you know that I've been getting a lot of ghost activity around me lately even in this house I live in it's just insane what's been going on even last night I didn't bring my phone out, out last night because it was you know of course probably almost dead or whatnot I just didn't think I'd need it but I should have brought it me and the wife went to take a daily stroll or nightly stroll through the cemetery and lo and behold, the dog started, the pug started acting up, started hearing these noises around us and I believe something went past the pug and he was all over the place looking around. So, <laughs> and like I said, the best time for me, I think, to get spirits is throughout the winter months because of that isolation of people and the, um, you know, everybody locking up, less noise friction throughout the air. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still get any all and every activity around me, even without, but it's better for me, I think, or for the spirits to come out because it's that, Dead silence. You got to use that appropriate word too, the dead silence. So, I mean, if you're out in the winter time and you hear nothing, you know, you know, every you hear everything is lightened up with traffic, say so, and the noise around you, and you're out there looking for a ghost, you'll get one. Most definitely. But in this photo, as I said, I looked through very thoroughly starting off with this now I did not you know like I said I did, I'm probably going to go back and study this picture a little more I might even check the price on it and hell I might even buy it but you got to remember <laughs> sometimes pictures can hold on the spirits and that's what I'm thinking that is right here. Now, I will admit, this does look like one of them little um, cocoon cobwebs, say so, that spiders make uh, when they're, you know, wrapping up a meal or something and storing it. Or if you see them little white cobwebs in a house in a corner or something. That's what it reminds me of right there. But you got to remember, this is a thin picture. Glass is thin. 
and up against this pitcher. So what kind of spider could get in there and web this all together would be beyond me. Because I'm sure this is sealed in the back. And I ain't never known spiders getting into sealed pictures and making a little nest or whatever they do in the picture. So this could be rightfully right. Some type of orb. Or maybe something on the concrete block. Even if that is a wall, who knows if this is a kid standing in front of a picture. But it seems to be, yes, something that is, you know, I believe is an orb. Because not only that, as we go through this whole picture, I can't say it's like something a stained into the wall. That's what I was trying to think of. Because the simple fact that it's too damn bright, too damn, you know, clean to be type of stain. So, I mean, with that being said, and whether or not it's like a drop of, a drop of paint, I mean, what, like this, and I can't say if there's something in there that got stuck in there when the picture was put together. I mean, like I said, I have to go back to see if it's there or rightfully do it because I didn't you know I didn't have time to study the picture um because I was um only there to check that place out and just do a run through I wasn't going there to do properly heavy searching so but as we go through the pictures you can see clearly up here besides that there's nothing get through the middle of the picture but here as you can see through this line. And you can see the wall and the pieces through it. I believe this is a moving orb. Because if you think about it and look at it, what would be hanging on the wall like this, of course, to... um. You know, make that figure, that, not figure, but that piece. It's not a decoration, as you can see in the wall. It just, it looks like, kind of like a stick. But it ain't. It's most definitely an orb stretched out throughout the picture. Because you can clearly see through it. Like right here. And I mean, it kind of looks like a friggin' leg bone, too. Or a type of bone, maybe a forearm bone, but <laughs> whatever the case may be, folks. And I'm, oh yeah, I was saying nothing up at the top here, but also over here, another clear. Now you're going to say that looks like a piece of scotch tape. But, As you can see from the bottom, and it goes up, it gets faded and disappears. So, I mean, I believe that's another orb form shape. You can't say it's something put on the wall. And I don't believe at this time scotch tape existed. Now, if someone put it on the painting afterwards, say so, or, or screwed around the picture... And say so, ripped it, you would see something or a line in there for a crease or crack. So why would anybody want a bit of piece of scotch tape there? It's beyond me. But that too is an orb. I mean, orbs take many forms, especially when they're moving. And especially back in the day with these cameras. Oh yeah, you're going to get a whole lot of different out of pictures. So moving on, like I say, you can't Photoshop this shit. And for people to sit there and say, oh, it's a malfunction in the camera. You know what? I'm sorry, but malfunctioning in the camera is ridiculous to me. Now this thing here is a line. 
you could say it starts up here off through the design of the wall, but if you look closely, you too can too see through that. And then the design of the wall ends right here. See the line that goes across, so this continues to go down. And down and down. Ghostly, mistly figure. Because what kind of design would that be if it even was a design? It looks like it's off pattern. It looks like it would be sloppily made. You know, it's it just... Mm, it's, this picture tells a lot, holds a lot. Insane. Now, one thing I need to do is pull this up, but I'm sorry, folks. Whoever was in here as a ghost had to make it known to stand in front of the guy's friggin' crotch for some damn reason. But as you can see, as we blow it up, seems to be a mistly figure there, too. All the way up here. And as you can see, as it gets thinner, up by the waistline of the pants, and then completely right. Goes into the shirt, disappears. But it does seem <laughs> like whatever the spirit is, is trying to stand like this person. Looks like two legs, and even the one on the, you know, going towards the left. You know, it looks like it's, you know, curving and then it disappears with the straight leg curve, whatever. But that's. You can plainly see it. Something there. And I mean, then I believe that might be all that's in this picture. And here's what the picture would look like if it has a rip. It actually does have a rip. So there's a rip. As of to over here. If someone would say, I mean, yeah, it does look like friggin' scotch tape. But there's no rip there. And then it, right, fades away. So most likely, you know, as we pan through some more and there's nothing else in there, you can rightfully see, oh, and there's the other half. Right there, oh yeah, I forgot that. It went around and then it goes down like this. Doesn't curve over, but still. It looks like something's standing there. Literally standing there in front of this kid. So, I mean, with that being said and, you know, boom. Wherever this kid is standing, it'd be very interesting to know because it does look like a type of church say so I can't say an armory maybe an armory but whatever the case may be whatever that building is wherever that location is and like every other place you go to that's old does have spirits so I mean to find something like this and like I say, when I see pictures, I'm always looking. I'm always looking for ghosts, especially in the antique shops. <clears throat> and who knows what could be attached to this photo, having all these different things in there. And yeah, you could say that that line that starts here going up. Looks like there might be something there. And maybe this is something of the other side, so a full, maybe, figure is standing there. Oh, yeah, look at this. Save the best for last. This is even a figure of something standing there. So not only do you have this, you have this, you have this, this, you have this. Save the best for last. I mean, whatever was in this place and whatever was attached to this guy that day, boy, <laughs> only proves 
And like I said, you can't Photoshop these photos. You can't do that. And anybody that is insanely enough to say them words, oh, I got it Photoshopped, or something up with the malfunction of the camera. No, 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 no. There is no light and glare in this photo either, other than the one I have. Yeah, that's right. You can see the window in the back. There's no light and glare in this photo that was taken that day. Because you can clearly see they could have been standing in the building. And if you're in a big brick building, you know damn well you ain't getting no sun through that. So, yep, closely explore this painting. And I know there's people out there that can read these paintings. Because someone took a picture of mine when I was out in Winston at an old farmhouse. And they saw a little girl in a sundress. So, with that being said... There's anybody that reads the spirits in these pictures, let me know who you think is there and what do you see. But that's right, folks. This is truly an experience of its own. Photos that carry ghosts. And I have a whole friggin' box full of photos that I gotta go through. It's sadly to say that the... Um, Gentleman I took care of here at this house passed away last year. Has anybody read uh, even seen that video? Um, he had uh, his wife had family members that just didn't carry on a long tradition of <laughs> family members. So now I'm stuck with a lot of photos and pictures, and you know it's tough to even attempt to try and throw away. It is cluttering up the house, but I just can't, I, mean, I gotta go through them, and, but I just can't find the heart to friggin' toss them, so I don't know, <laughs> I'll be already stuck with them, my kids will probably throw them out, but it's tough, man, when you lose or don't have a long legacy of family members to carry on, and this family, I don't know, was kind of, eh, on doing that, so, I don't know. But I'm dying to see, I'm dying to see what I find for ghosts in them pictures because I have found some pictures with ghosts. I have them up on my channel here. Like I say, I do everything on this channel. Everything. There's no need to make no other channel. There's no need to be, you know, if you, gotta, you get bored enough, you got multiple videos to watch here to be not bored, especially ghosts. Love my ghost. This connection's getting stronger. Like I said in the previous video, I'm getting ready to go back to that haunted mansion. Oh, yeah. Pulled up that video, boy, that damn friggin' um, light in a room that looked like a porthole. Like a little finger scrolling in there. Might have been pointing. But, um, whatever the case may be, I can't wait to get back there. I might even bring my little dollies there. Have a little, um, they have this thing where you can buy dolls. Could be haunted. I might bring my own dolls. Just pay the fee to have them sit there for a week. <laughs> Yeah, see what I bring back. Hopefully it's nothing evil, but whatever. I got enough in this house to keep me going. But anyways, folks, that's it. Be safe, take care, and always believe. You don't believe in spirits? You come to my channel. Because I only have... A camera, a phone, and me. There's no big equipment. There's no big crew. And hopefully one day I get my own damn show. Because I don't need a lot of people. Or the special equipment, like I said. Expensive. To bring out the ghost around me. To the next video, be safe, take care. Again, ow.
Whoops. Having some technical difficulties here. <laughs>